I missed my flight on purpose and no. I have never been home since. And I hitchhiked through Africa, I never felt more happy. Get engaged before they even arrive, they haven't met the family, that's a yeah. mistake. So I started making a ton of money actually. Okay. And then I started getting the sponsors, I was flying everywhere in the world. Hello and welcome back to Living Abroad. My name is Alex and in today's video we're going to sit down with Justin, an American who has a very fascinating life. He missed his flight on purpose on a school trip just so he can travel. He fell in love with it Now he has very very interesting stories to share. But before we go ahead and meet Justin guys, do me a favor, if this is your first time to the channel or you've been watching my videos, haven't had a chance to subscribe, take a quick second, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me grow this channel and continue to make these kinds of videos. Now let's go ahead and meet Justin. Oh, and one more thing, I met Justin at the Dumaguete Vloggers Meetup, so there's some background noise, we try to get away by going upstairs, so hopefully you don't mind the background noise too much. I did my best in editing, but there's still some of that left over, so forgive me for that. Now let's go ahead and talk to Justin. Uh, hi, what's your name? Hey, uh, my name's Justin Carmack. Uh, Justin, tell me, how old are you, man? I'm uh, 36 years old. Oh, you yeah. look very young for 36, I must say. <laughs> yeah. uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Colorado. Okay. Yeah, I went to school. Uh, I grew up there, went to school, and then, but I left in 2010. I haven't been back to the States. Just okay. been doing a lot of travel. Before we get into any of that, give us a short introduction about yourself, a little bit of your history. What brings you to the Philippines? Oh man, how do I... a short, short one. I'll do whatever, make us a long one, whatever uh, you want Well, in 2010, I had a university trip to Southern Africa, and it was supposed to... it's, in, it's like in between uh, semesters, mm -hmm. and I totally fell in love. It was, it was on scholarship, by the way, mm -hmm. and I totally fell in love with uh, traveling, and you know, I lived in a small town in Colorado, so everything was culture shock and uh, extremely new and amazing to me so uh when we were supposed to fly out we were in mozambique my my classmates uh i missed my flight on purpose and oh. i have never been home since yeah, it takes I, a lot of courage to do that how did that feel? I, I guess so but i had 400 dollars to my name from the scholarship still mm -hmm. and i missed my two thousand dollar flight my parent like no money i can I, there's nowhere to get any money and i convinced my professor who was on the trip, I was like, I'm just gonna take a semester off because there's no way I can go home. I mean, South Africa, Mozambique, Malawi, Zambia, it was uh, so, so crazy. And uh, I never felt more happy. And so that $400 lasted me about 12 years, that was 2010. Okay. And uh, I immediately, I got a job at some hostel in uh, uh, Mozambique and they taught me diving and then that was another passion so I was selling I was working on a little uh, internet cafe selling Wi-Fi you know yeah. under the table and then I hitchhiked through Africa got to Asia like for years I hitchhiked or uh, traveled and then I would work at a hostel for a week or six months or whatever it was wow. in each location depending on how fun it was and then yeah. That's crazy, man. That's a real inspirational story because a lot of people come here with some savings, a little bit of a plan. Yeah, I don't have a lot in common with these uh, guys. They keep asking me how I'm living here with no pension and all that. Yeah. But, uh, oh, so long story short, that traveling, it turned into, I started writing about it on a mm -hmm. blog. Okay. And then that turned into professional. I started getting paid because they wanted my stories, or not even just stories, but how to do this, mm -hmm. how to travel every country in Europe on a budget, how to hitchhike, how to couch surf, how to, what best things to do in uh, Brazil, you know, that kind of stuff. So I started making a ton of money actually. Okay. And then I started getting the sponsors. Uh, I was sponsored by like Marriott and Star Alliance and tourism boards of a dozen countries. I was flying everywhere in the world eventually. Wow, okay. And that's how I landed here. My, my niche was kind of uh, scuba diving, mm -hmm. so I was an underwater photographer. That's amazing. Like, tell us a little bit more about that if I want to see some of your content, because it sounds interesting. Where can I find your stuff? The uh, underwater? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so when I landed here the first time, I was a writer still, and I was sick of it, and somebody offered me money. They bought my entire business, and I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, I just I kind of retired for like a year. Okay. I figured it out. and. Uh, I wanted to do video instead of writing. Yeah. And I started my YouTube channel called Critter Hunter. Okay. And it's just it's underwater videography, scuba diving niche, but okay. uh, heavily on the marine biology. You know, I've I've now published. That's why I came here. It's insane. Nobody knows. There's all these 
channels and articles about Philippines, but to me, Philippines is like the number one, the epicenter of marine biodiversity in the, on the planet. Wow. And there's Indonesia as well, but um, I just love it here. And this is way more, it's just undiscovered. We yeah. published a book, a species survey just of Darwin here, mm -hmm. where I live. And uh, yeah, uh, I think I got off on a tangent, but. No, no, no worries. <laughs> it's just, to me, I'm like, I'm hooked, bro. Like, this is awesome. Thank you for sharing all that. Yeah, it just became an expensive ha uh, hobby. <laughs> uh, and then, but I turned, I figured out what I love, travel and diving and underwater video. And I turned that into a business yeah. so that I could sustain doing what I want instead of going home, working for a year, coming here, yeah. taking a week vacation or something, you know. Do you see yourself ever going back to the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, not to live, but uh, I'd love to do, you know, with the travel writing, I, I've visited 90 countries, but I've only visited like 35 states. Okay. So I love U.S. I'd yeah. love to go do a road trip and see the states I haven't been to and dive more locations that I haven't done. Uh, yeah, I'm not in the states because I hate it. Yeah, I, I I love I love it, but I love everywhere. So yeah, you seem well traveled. Um, tell me some things about dating. Are you single? Are you seeing somebody? Yeah, when I the second time I got here, uh, I don't remember what year it was. I met a girl in Cebu. Mm -hmm. I was living in I wasn't living. This is my first trip, just diving all over the Philippines with the tourism board, and I met her in nursing school in Cebu. We started dating for like a couple of weeks, and then I went around the world again. And I had a—I was speaking at a conference in Manila, and I was so tired. I was averaging 180 flights a year for like three years straight. That's insane. Um, I was like, I just need a break. I don't have anything. I canceled all my trips, and I went to Cebu to see her again, and I never left. Okay. So we dated for three years. Well, we dated for two years there in uh, Cebu. Got eventually moved in together stuff like that and then we started traveling around it got serious we got engaged after oh. two and a half years and we started we, we, we moved to Thailand for a year just for something new yeah and then we came here after three years got married she's from Sikihor okay. and we got married there and we got we came over here to Dowin with another company uh, resort Dowin and while we were there the lockdowns happened and okay. we were stuck here for a year but now I've been here three years, so okay. uh, Dowin, I don't know if you've been to Dowin yet. I haven't, no. Uh, it's just 20 minutes down the highway, but it's a tiny little scuba community, maybe 2,000 people, I don't know. Uh, but it's just everybody knows everybody, and we, we're the only ones here during the pandemic, for a foreigner-wise. Yeah. The Navy came and picked everybody up, said, you leave now or you're never leaving, and we just, I stayed. Because <laughs> I was married, and my yeah. wife can't go to the U.S., so why, why not? And uh, so every, we got, everybody knows that we're, I mean, just two years making videos about Darwin underwater. Okay. Awesome. And uh, it, for the first time in, since 2010, it's like my base. I mean, we still travel, but it's... Tell me a little about being married to a Filipina. Is it any different than like American girls or... Lots different. <laughs> uh, I only dated up until 2010, the uh, American girls, because I was in school like yeah. I was American yeah. and then I I was dating on the road like I had a girlfriend in Colombia, a girlfriend in Estonia, Denmark, uh, uh, Italy uh, so they're all different but Romania uh, I can't complain but the Philippines I'm a big dude uh, nobody judges you here well all of Asia really but uh, it's hard to explain. They're just so Philippines. I mean, you got to admit they're the nicest. Yeah. You know, we lived in Thailand, Cambodia, pretty much every country in Southeast Asia, and when you come back here and you're like, people are so friendly. And that's the same with your wife or your girlfriend. If they're not, uh, you know, if they really love you, they're so supportive in anything you do. So now I'm on like a weight loss journey. All my subscribers are like we challenge you to lose a hundred pounds. So. I started a new channel for that because that'd be weird. Yeah. And uh, my wife just, she went on a diet even though she didn't need to, just so I'm not tempted. Like, she just helped, she goes to the gym. Mm -hmm. She pays for her own membership just so she, she doesn't even work out. She just like helping me and filming me. The support, and, right? Yeah, it's just the ultimate support That's system. Amazing. You gotta be careful with the family. I was gonna ask you about the family. Tell me a little bit about the when family. When you get dynamic. married, these guys don't know. 
sometimes. I hear a lot of these guys, uh, they marry or they get engaged before they even arrive. They haven't met the family. That's a yeah. mistake. I got super lucky. Well, I met my fam I met her family before we got married, but still, I got super lucky because they're they don't want money. They don't. Have, they try to give us money. Um, they don't want anything. Uh, it's hard to explain, but they want nothing. And Sounds they, like they it's support, a jackpot, man. <laughs> they, that's her favorite daughter. They support us. Yeah. They're not expecting anything. Um, but I hear some pretty horror horror stories. Like. It could get pretty bad. Okay, awesome. Now you talked about being heavy and your weight loss journey. And tell me, how much do you weigh right now? Oh, uh, I just, so uh, because of the channel, I have a weekly weigh-in. Okay. I'm going to tell you in kilos because I, I can't think right now. <laughs> no, I, uh, I started off at uh, 182 kilos. Okay. And it's been, today's like day 77. Okay. And I'm at 163. Oh, good for so, you. What's the goal then? Well, my first goal is uh, 100 pounds. Okay. Uh, but it's 100 kilos. I hope. No. Um, or to lose 100 pounds. My first be... goal oh, okay. is to lose 100 oh, pounds. Oh, I see. I thought you wanted to be 100 oh, no. pounds. I'm like, come on. No pounds wise. <laughs> uh, That's hard, right? I, I'd be happy with 240, 220, because okay. I lift a lot. I'm in the gym every day, boxing, weightlifting, boxing, weightlifting, mm -hmm. and that's what I film or my video. My okay. they film me. Um, so I think 240, 220, if I'm strong. So my first goal though is to lose 100 pounds and then probably 50, 50 more. Okay, I see. Now tell me about maybe some future plans. Do you know what you're gonna do in the Philippines or otherwise? Well, right now I'm working on a second book with another photographer, uh, mm -hmm. marine biologist uh, here in Darwin. And I'm kind of filming that on the Critter Hunter channel okay. uh, about the process trying to get the photos and everything um so once we're done with that book i'd love to go somewhere else for at least a month and yeah. do another book like um species of bali or ambon or there's a million places i'd like to go that are not not really covered not really a lot of uh species surveys or whatever you want to call it um but i'm mainly Somebody, I don't know if it's you or somebody was just asking me how the channels take off different niches because yeah. these are two completely different niches. Yeah, exactly. And this this weight loss fitness thing I'm doing, it's only day 70 or whatever. It's it's completely blown up, double the views of my other channel with 16,000 subscribers yeah. and two or three years of videos. <laughs> it's already like triple the views in two months. Yeah. And and it's the huge, the, all, the number one benefit is I'm getting in so much better shape. Yeah, that's great, man. So um, I got to keep focusing on that. So I'm getting invites all over the world, like come to my gym and come, yeah. to, come work out with us. You never us. know, maybe you can uh, travel and lose weight at the same time. Oh, and, yeah, that's going to be... Dream come true. Yeah, my first my goal my first goal now is to get my my willpower or my, uh, you know, with the mindset right yeah. so that I could go travel. I could come to this place that's yeah. full of pie and cake and yeah. coffee. Uh, you know, sweet coffees and not eat, not uh, just just do what I have to do, you yeah. know. So I think when I start traveling, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be all right. Awesome, man. Well, your inspiration for everybody that wants to either travel or lose weight, they're doing the right way. And thank you for being on the channel. Appreciate Thanks, man. If you get a, if you get a, if you want to talk about like that 10 years when I was really traveling, that's, that's a lot of stories. Yeah. I can't even. You said make it short, and there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. There you have it. What an interesting man. Guys, leave your thoughts down below. Tell me what you think of Justin and his story. Uh, he has two channels. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to both those channels in the description down below. You know, Critter Hunter and Justin Cormack. So, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining, or just want to show your support for myself at Living Abroad, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I got so much more content coming up in the future. Bye.